Well, welcome back to Doc's Hot Shop and Forge. So today I'm going to use this piece of um, J hook. So I'll put a link up here to the previous stuff that I've done with the J hooks. Um, these are for moving CNC machinery. They're a high carbon steel. Which steel? Don't know. Um, but they do hold up really well as hammers, small axes, that sort of thing. This is 20 millimeter round and is 90 millimeters long. Um, and we're going to make a Danish straight peen style hammer out of it. Link up here to the Danish cross peen that I made. And we are going to rework the eye in the very first hammer that I ever made. Now this is made out of some sprung um, vintage buggy axle. So it's got a, a moderate amount of carbon in it, but it's not strictly wrought iron per se. Um, and what's always been a problem with this eye is that it doesn't have a lot of hourglass to it. Now I made this when I was about 15-ish, um, so a long time ago. It's held up really well. There's almost no mushrooming in it, considering I didn't really heat treat it at all. It curiously does have a hole in it, um, which makes no real difference to it. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to redrift the eye, give it a bit of an hourglass, and touch mark it and give it its true serial number, which is 001, because this was the very first hammer I ever made. So let's get the forge lit and uh, let's have some fun.
cool off and then we can put it back on a handle.
that governs where we put in the fullers. We've got enough there that we can start to really get a squish on.
closer together. So that concludes that little project. Um, got a nice little hammer out of that. Um, I was aiming for something that would match the straight, the cross pin that I made, and I got pretty close. I know what I did wrong with this one. I upset a little bit too much. So there's a bit too much mass in and around the eye, um, and the eye's a bit, consequently, a little bit bigger than it should be. Um, Weight-wise, they are within a couple of grams of each other. Um, so those will go with the small anvil that we made previously, link up here, um, just as a proportional display piece. Um, now the thing with the straight peen um, Danish pattern is that you don't actually see them very much anymore, uh, simply because Nobody really uses straight pin hammers much anymore, which is a little bit sad because they're actually quite useful. Um, anyway, this was fun. Um, along the way, we redid the eye for the very first hammer I ever made and hung that on a new handle. So I'm really happy with that. That's come up nicely. Um, so if you've enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. Feel free to share on social media, and if you haven't already subscribed, I'd love it if you hit that subscribe button. When you do, don't forget, ring the notification bell. So get out to your shop. Do something unusual. Do something that's not done much anymore. But above all, stay safe, and I'll catch you for the next one.